Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We'll be in the air again in no time. On the rock before lunch. Scout's on her. You just don't get it, do you? Let's go on a climbing holiday, son. Just you and me. No phones, no work. I couldn't tell you. This facility, it, it's secret. Top secret. Miss Monks, Scott Kavanagh, Head of Company Security. This is my son, Ryan. Ryan, this is Maggie Monks, Dr. Hamilton's personal assistant. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Please tell Dr. Hamilton that I'm here for our meeting. I'm afraid there's been a bit of a mix-up. Uh, he's been delayed on the island. What do you mean? There's been an unexpected development. He's been there all week. All week? Don't worry, I spoke to him this morning before everyone else went across. Everyone's gone to the island? While having both research teams on the island at once obviously goes against protocol. Dad? Mr Kavanagh, where are you going? To the island. I don't think that's a very good idea. You're telling me. Get this boat above the high tide mark. Ah! Uh, my leg! I have to sit! Ah, oh, sir! <laughs> I'm in agony! Sure, Josh. <laughs> now! Oh. Excuse me! Visitors! <laughs> Excuse me! Stuart Taylor? Scott Kavanagh. Dad. Enterprise Security. Dad. Ryan, I need you to go and get my bag from the helicopter. No, hang on. Tell me what's going on first. Son, please, just. Do as I say, yeah? Natasha Hamilton, isn't it? Will you please show my son the way back to the helicopter? I'm gonna need you in the boat. We're going to the island. Bet you don't get a lot of visitors around here. No, we don't. Not on the train line, then? I wish. Paradise not good enough for you? Place is all right. When your dad bosses people round all the time, it has a knock-on effect. Tell me about it. So why are you here? Your guess is as good as mine. Five minutes ago, we were going camping. You didn't know you were coming. For some reason, I thought he'd grasped the concept of a holiday, but... I don't think my dad's ever taken one in his life. Nice to know I'm not alone. Come on, it's this way. So what are you all doing way out here anyway? It's a medical research station. Our parents work on the island and live back here on the base. You would have landed near the main office and communication centre. They're the staff quarters. I live there too. What about everyone else? There are other houses scattered around. And that's it? Just a whole lot of scrub that we're not allowed to go into. Take it nobody's tried to walk out. We saw from the helicopter. We're in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing in any direction for a thousand kilometres. Guess that's the only way to keep a place like this secret then, huh? Guess so. So your old man's a scientist then? He's leading the experiment. Dr Hamilton? That's right. I've always wanted to fly one of these things. It helps if you sit in the pilot's seat. Like you and that Dr. Hamilton have a lot in common. Ryan. You're not coming. I can't. Can't what? Tell me. I think I preferred it when you just lied to me about what you did. Give me a hand. Just in case. Keep it set to the emergency frequency. Now I'm getting worried. It's my job, son. I don't keep things from you to hurt you. Just to protect you. Take it easy while I'm gone, all right? Don't go too far. Things aren't exactly what they seem around here. 
I'll be two hours tops. Hi, Brian. I'm going rock climbing. Brian, don't take it personally. Even I'm not allowed on the island. What's the big secret anyway? What exactly are they researching out there? Dad says it's an amazing medical breakthrough. Sounds like you don't know what it is either. He doesn't tell me much. In fact, I'm not even sure he knows I'm here. My mum dumped me here a month ago. Said it was his turn to look after me. Just after I get here, he starts working everybody around the clock. It hasn't exactly been easy to make friends. If I were you, I'd send your mum an SOS. I did. I emailed and she's calling today. By satellite. It's my only chance to convince her to get me out of here. If I don't, then I'm stuck here until the supply ship next comes. When's that? About six months. We need to get back to work on our assignment. Mr. Taylor won't be back for hours. I think it's this way. Josh, do you even know where we're going? I found this place when we first got here a couple of weeks ago. At least I think this is where I was. Ryan. We're not allowed to go any further. This area's out of bounds. Come on, we don't have all day. I can't. And you really shouldn't. OK. Catch you later, then. Don't be such a wuss. You better know a shorter way home. Ta-da! <laughs> Wicked. Josh likes is Josh. <laughs> but do you like him? No way, no day. It's too far. I won't make it. You go. 
I'll stay here with Lil. Sure. Get help. And hurry! Sorry. I just couldn't. It's cool. Come on, let's get up higher. Do you think you'll make it in time? It's a long way back to the base camp. He better. He got us into this mess. jokes are supposed to be funny. Sorry? I know you didn't want me going in there, but you didn't have to throw stones at me. What are you going on about? Sounds like you've been out in the sun too long. Maggie! Help! Come on! We have to help them! Help who? What's happened? Lily and Jarrah! They're stuck at the bottom of the cliff, trapped by the tide! But Rob and Maggie have taken the boat out. I can climb down. I'll need help to get them up. Come on! We have to hurry! That cove's completely underwater at high tide. You go. I'll be fine. Too late. It's too dangerous now. I'm stuck as well. Sorry. Forget about it. Even if I could go, I wouldn't leave you. Natasha, maybe. But not you. No rock throwing. I didn't throw rocks at you. Below! What are you waiting for? Christmas? Who's first? We have to move quickly. Take Lil. Put this on. Ready, Nat? We're all set up here. Okay. You're ready to go. Natasha will pull the rope through as you climb. You'll be safe. Natasha? Come on. I'll follow you up. something? Hang on, Jara! Okay. You ready to go again? Sure. Let's do it. It's 
Still here, huh? Still here. Did you miss the call? Mum's always fashionably late. Thanks for helping before. No biggie. Thank you for saving my sister. Any time. But it wasn't just me. Natasha helped too. Yes, yes! Hi. You really saved my neck back there. Thanks. It's okay. My mum's about to call. When she has, why don't you join us for dinner? I don't think Jara would like that idea. She just doesn't know you. None of us do. I'm Dr. Hamilton's daughter, remember? It's been enough for you all up to now. Look, I know you've been left out, and I'm sorry, but it doesn't have to stay that way. Till my dad does something else to annoy your parents, you mean? I don't always need saving, by the way. Ryan? Ryan, are you there? Hey. Dad's back. Finally. Ryan, are you there? Dad. Dad, I can't hear. Ryan? Yeah? Where are you? You sound like you're miles away. I'm still on the island. Ryan, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Listen carefully. I need you to go into the main office and access the communication system. Don't let anybody see you. Hang on. The what? Listen to me. You've got to shut down the satellite. All communication must be closed down immediately. But, Dad... Don't argue. There's a password. It's your mum's name. Uh, what about mum? Dad, you're breaking up. Your mum's middle name. Don't tell anybody what you're doing. They'll try to stop you, okay? There's no sign of them. Are you sure? High tide was half an hour ago. I know what a boat looks like. All right. I'll try the satellite phone. I guess they're staying over again. satellite communications. Hi, Mum. Yes. No, I need to speak to Dr. Hamilton now. Done. Sorry, Natasha. You knew how much I wanted to speak to my mum. I know. I didn't mean to. Didn't mean to what? Uh, I was just checking my email and this window popped up. In the office? Yeah. Wait here. Rob? Natasha, what's the matter? Ask Mr. Incredible out there. He's the one that closed us out. Don't worry. 
worry about the other kids. They'll get over it. I'm not. I'd rather sleep on the beach. Strange thing to happen. Satellite going down. Almost as strange as the head of security turning up and mysteriously forcing his way across to the island. Look, if you think I can tell you what's going on over there, you're wrong. You don't have a clue what you've done, do you? What, ruin the end of a football game? It's our lifeline. You've severed our link to the outside world. Thanks to you, we all just disappeared off the face of the earth. Daddy, are you there? Dad?